Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create alliance as the main avatar for your game project in your Unreal Engine or make the lion to become an NPC in the game or can be the, the third person's avatar in the game. That is a lion. Lion is an animal. So we need the Icon 7s. Before that, you can just scroll down, go to the video descriptions, get the lion's 3D model. Before that, you need to have the Icon 7 3D animation. Then after that, get the lion 3D model and also get a 3D exchange pipeline, all of this software and get a tr the Lion 3D models from here, this is the link we'll copy the link once you click in, you will go to a page that is called Relusion Content Store at the search bar here, you type in Lion then you should be able to see that at the bottom here you have an animal world volume 4 fierce animal get this pack in your icon 7 then after that in your icon 7 you check your content it is under content avatar under the, under the avatar the animal world volume 4 you should be able to, to find a lion here. The first step here, in your Unreal Engine 4, you need to have the Icon Unreal Live link that already installed. And in your icons, you need to have, have the Unreal Live link that already installed there. And if you still don't know how to get the Icon Unreal Live link, if you still don't know how to install the Icon Unreal Life link. I already created a tutorial at the beginning last time how to download and set up Icon Unreal Life link. You can check it out and make sure you get the Icon Unreal Life link plugins that already installed both in the Icon and Unreal Engine 4. Next. And make sure you already open your, your, your Unreal Engine project. This is Unreal Engine 4.26 and you have the Icon Unreal Live link. At this moment, go back to the scenes and this lion, you right click, you double click it and name it as Lion RL. Okay, next, back to the Icon Unreal Live link. Make sure you untick everything and only tick the, the Lion RL and click transfer file at the moment it is transferring you must make sure that you do not do anything in your Unreal Engine 4 you must make sure that let it finish now it finished already it already finished transfer And all already at here. This is the Lion RL. Next, what we are going to do is open the open the Icon 3D Exchange 7. So Icon 3D Exchange 7, after you just opened from your icon, you must make sure you selected the lions and click edit in 3D Exchange. The lion is inside. Next, in your icon 7, you click the contents, click the motion here. Under the motions, click here, templates, motions, you should be able to see that you have the animal world volume 4, the animations are there, the, the lions. So you right click and find the file, make sure everything you, you view from the file explorer, all of these are icon motion files. In your 3D exchange 7, you make sure that you drag down at the right hand side until you see the motion library you drag everything all of the motion into here then click add all to perform alright next on your desktop here clear your desktop next open a new folder on your desktop name it as lion 01 
then you enter into the Lion01 folder here. In your 3D exchange, you click export as FBX file. The target tool preset choose Unreal Engine. Next. And here, you copy the folder destination, Control C to copy, and paste it here, Control V. Next, the file name, you name it as Lion01. Make sure you untick, untick the include animation first, and you only include the geometry, you click OK, and click OK. Now, it will export it as Lion01. Next, you export again the FBX file, make sure you untick the include geometry, and tick include animations, and here also tick it, save one take per file, then click OK. Wait. We forget to rename it, so delete first, this one we don't want. Make sure when, when you export the FBX file, you change the file name to become Lion01. The target tool preset is the Unreal Engine, you untick the include geometry for this time. Make sure you tick here as well, tick this too, then click OK, then click OK. Now, everything will export it as the FBX motion file. In your Unreal Engine 4.26 here, you click the you click the contents, make sure you back to the content folder here. You right click and open a new folder, name it Lion01, enter. In your Lion01, you double click in and all of this. First you import the Lion01 FBX verse. Then click import all. Once you see the message log, you click to close it. Now, you should be able to see that you have a skeleton mesh. The skeleton mesh, this is the one that we want, the Lion01, not the Lion RL. We want this. Once you open it, you can see that the material is something wrong here. So what we are going to change is to change the to change this one, the texture. We change it to become the mat the material instance. This one. The lion default, you choose the lion default. This one. Now, everything will automatically be corrected. Now, all the material, okay, ready. We close. Next, we want to import the animation. All of these are animations. So, what we are going to do is we right click and open a new folder, create, create a new folder here. Create a new folder here and, and name it as animation. Double click in. And we import all of this. Drag in. The skeletons, you must make sure you choose the Lion01 skeletons. And the animated, the animation length, you must choose the animated time. This is very important. And then you click import all and wait for a while until all finish. After finish transfer, it will pop out a message. Now you can see, all of the animations are here. If you open, you can see the animation of the lions. Running, how about running? Yes, you have all of this animation. Now I stop. This one I close first. Next, we want to make this lion to become the main avatar. Before that, you have to go back to the lion01 folder. The skeleton you must double click in and select re make 
make him become the humanoid rig. Although he is not human, but you must select the humanoid rig first. After that, click clear. Then click save. Next, close it. After that, click the content. Enter the mannequin folder. Enter the character. Enter the mesh. You can see the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin skeletons. You double click it. And then here, you must make sure you can see the retarget manager if you cannot see. Then you have to click the retarget manager. And after that, select the rig. You must select the humanoid rig as well. After that, you have to save and close. Now, click the contents. Go into the mannequin again. You should be able to see the animations. The third person animation blueprint is once. You have to right click here. Retarget and duplicate the animation blueprint and retarget. Click this. Now you should be able to see the Lion01 is here. Click retarget. Then you should be able to see all of this. The first thing what you are going to do is the third person animation blueprint. This is under the content folder. The third person animation blueprint of the tiger. You must press F. Click and press F2 to rename it. Put an underscore behind there. Underscore. The lion 01. Alright. Now after that, you should be able to see a third person's either run 2D. This one. You double click it. Then you see you look at the first point. The, the first point. What you are going to do is you drag drag the lion 01 either drag it and drop into the first point then the second point here you drag the lion 01 walk into this point next the final point is the lion runs, lion 01 runs, you drag and drop into the last point. At this moment, click save, then close. Then, all of this animation, you click the first one, hold the shift, click the last one. So, you are going to move into the lion 01's folder. You should be able to see this. You click so that you can see all of this. Under the Lion01 animation folder, it's here already. Back to the content folder. We move all of this. Click the first one, hold the shift, and click the last one. Drag into the animations of the Lion01 and move it to there. Next. Finally, you want to make the Lion to become the main avatar. You have to go back to the content folder here. Next, go to the third person blueprint. Enter the blueprint. When you see the third person character, you right click here, duplicate. The character want. The one you delete the one here. You put an underscore and you type in lion01. Name it as lion01. Then you double click it. Click the mesh, click the viewport. You should be able to see the mannequin. We want to change it to become lion. The skeleton mesh here, you change it to become lion01. Next, the animation class here, you change it to become third person animation blueprint lion01. Just like that. Then to compile and you can close. Next step, go to the edit project setting. The maps and modes, you should be able to see a selected game mode here. The default pawn class, you change it to become 
the third person character lion01. After that, it automatically will save. You can close it, and now your game actually is already set the main avatar as the lion, the lion01. In this map, first you delete. You delete the mana queen from here, press the delete button to delete it, and now you can play to test. Now you can see your main avatar is the lion. Now this lion can run. Okay. This lion already become your main avatar, of course. You can do some adjustments to put this lion at the center. You double click the third person character lion 01. Click the mesh. Click the viewport here. We want to modify this. Move the lion back to behind here. Behind a bit. Then compile and close. And try to play again. It should be better, better, a best, a better control. Now this lion already become the main avatar. Of course, you can put him as an NPC as well. Let's say here I put a lion here. Okay, this is an NPC lion. Then I put another lion here. Dance. Make it become NPC Lion as well. Now I play. Now you can see you have another another two lions here. They are NPCs. It is really awesome, really cool. You already made the lion to become the main avatar. Alright, that's all for today about how to, how to create a lion's main avatar for your Unreal Engine game project. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animations and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.